See what I fucking said? I said daily uploads and I fucking meant it. This is the first step to my new work ethic. It, I think it changed after I started streaming it da pretty much daily. I'm gonna try to... Not quite daily, but I started streaming from Mondays to Thursdays at 4 p.m. Um, check them out. I stream, I stream cool, cool shit like Daggerfall. It's great. It's a cool game. Really great. It's old. It's also a game you have no reason not to try yourself since it's act it's actually free on Steam. Although, um, I would recommend setting up Daggerfall Unity after playing it for a little bit, just to see what it's like. Daggerfall Unity is a lot better, has a lot of features, and make it a bit better. It's not like it's a separate game you would download, it, it's, a separate, it's almost like a conversion mod, so you still need the original Daggerfall for it to work. But it all, Daggerfall Unity also opens up the gates for modding. But anyway, um... Yeah, okay, I'm recording. But yeah, anyway, um... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do more of Moira Brown shit. And then go ahead and... Probably... Go ahead and... I don't know. Yeah, let me turn my HUD back on. I had this off for getting a screenshot for my, for my thumbnail. How's it going out there in the... I need to continue my research on the first chapter. I still need to study a living specimen with radiation poisoning. I need someone to and that'll come. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning. So I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up for that. Look, okay, I'll get a radio. Just, be, just be ready to fix me up when I get back. Actually, you want me to get radiated? How could that possibly be worth it for me? Oh, don't worry so much about it. I'll be here waiting with a nice tall glass of rad cleansing ramen milk for you when you get back. Well, mostly just a whole lot of Rad X and Rad Away. Maybe even a more reliable way to get rid of radiation. Assuming it works, of course. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 Rad should be enough for basic sickness. If you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Um, I saw Rad King bring up how this might have sounds like it should have felt like it should have been set earlier, but I will bring this up. The way based on the way Moira Brown talks about it, she sounds like she's making the Wasteland Survival Guide for people who've never really stepped foot outside of a, either a major settlement and therefore have never had to fend for themselves, or outside of a vault. Either way, neither have to really fend for themselves, never really been onto the real wasteland. Or, and the whole fact that um, it, it seems like there's no post, post-war government, post apocalyptic government, open this up. Maybe the East Coast is just more fucked. Maybe they're even more of a dark. Maybe they're actually like in a fucking dark age, even more than the West Coast, because the West Coast seems to be doing a lot better where they actually have governments and shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that much, that kind of shit. But I just wanted to bring that up, and I can share it with people. Anybody who decides to sit long enough to watch this video, because I say that because goddamn, my fucking viewer attention is in the garbage. Alright, uh, alright, go get radiation poisoning. Here, let me drink the, the, the pond, the nuke water. Mmm. Delicious. Um, I'm trying to think of more channel ide game ideas. Probably want to get more RAM fallout and shit, but I probably will just be playing mostly RPGs like this. Dialogue heavy games, so I have something to crutch on and, and make commentary on and quests and shit. Even Fallout 4 can easily do that still. under the weather for a bit over the Geiger counter <laughs> I 
I'm about as radi radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell you're positively glowing. Now just hold on and try not to move. Cue the, the sitcom oh, laugh track. And I'll get you fixed right up. Alright. God, why am I so shaky? Maybe I shouldn't have a drink in that fucking me God, that maybe I should have drank did that fucking coffee that I drink earlier do that to me? What the fuck does Brahmin milk have in it that it's carrying the radiation? Well, or are you just giving it as a, as a ward? That's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems. As my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. <laughs> No, oh, don't worry, it's fine. It might be a superpower. I might end up like my favorite supervillain, Snowflame, the cocaine powered supervillain. Oh! Let's go Land get the landmines. Land dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it Holy. blows, and you can save <clears throat> plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Oh, what a creative thing! Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? At the minefield, wish me luck. Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. That's what you think, but I've watched Nuke's Top 5. Of course ghosts exist. I saw a Top 10... Like, I've seen top 10 goat sightings that are confirmed to be real and made me pee my pants. I know they're real. Yeah. You can't lie to me. Anyway, you know the drill. Cut occasionally. Maybe I'll interject it with things that are interesting to look at, but I'll mostly just cut over the journey. Okay, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna go deal with him. Cause I don't think my character would think this out. Now I can go ahead and pick the place, place clean of landmines. Place relatively safe.
So I'll be back after I've cleared it out and we'll go ahead and um, head back to Moira Brown and How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. Anyway, what's up? I got their minefield alive and even got you brought you a present. My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Alright, um... That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use... I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy days, and looking at this landmine... Yep. Alright. Okay, let's just see what you have to say, old... Good hunting. Okay, there we go. Ah, I can repair it with vault security armor. There we go. Now much more suited for co suited to combat. Okay, let's head out and um Well, let's actually let's go get my find my fucking dad already. Let's go um, up to the saloon. So I think this is way to the saloon. Yes, it is. Alright, let's go. Um, uh, where the fuck is he? Hello. Colin Moriarty, at your service. 
Welcome to Moriarty. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwards little bird. You've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, middle aged guy. Maybe maybe you've seen him. Oh my god, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't ya? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe. <sighs> I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood of steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with Mary at Pippa Supper. Sorry about your mom. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lies. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Like, I thought that was so fucking cool when, when that was revealed when I first played this game. Skip to this because I. Hello, I wasn't stealing from your stuff. So, out of nowhere, James came back to the Megaton since he stayed here, or he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in it, in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ru ruins of DC, and the guy 3 dog. Then like that, he was gone again. Remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago? I never expected someone to actually want to go, go or be able to get into the vault. But he must have had had his reasons. He had his kin with him. Some baby that wouldn't shut the fuck up. Normally I would have kicked someone like that out of my place, but he had a way with words. Way with words. Then like that, he ducks into Vault 101. He's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. Oh, fu shut the fuck up. Alright, let's head out. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fuck.
Oh dear fucking god. Oh god. The Metro Tunnels of Fallout 3. At least this might be where I can get some hunting rifle ammunition. Oh, thank God, the Brotherhood. Look, I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. Look, I need help, please. Kid, out here, cocky will get you killed. I've seen a super mutant strike squad like that take down five well-armed soldiers. But fine. Next time you want to take them on yourself and buy yourself an early retirement, go right ahead. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, fuck. Shit, I took his leg off. I kinda wish I could get a minigun though. But yeah, I think after this I'm gonna end the video and... says it all you're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care well prepare to be enlightened i am three dog jockey of discs and teller of truths lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes galaxy news radio and you well i know who you are heard about you leaving that vault traveling the unknown just like dear old dad huh met him already I'm just testing audio, um, hmm, fuck, okay, um, fuck, okay, let's see, I don't want to have to re- have to Alright, um, what's with the flashy introduction? Alright, fuck, I'm gonna edit, upload the video. Hey, when you're in the good- Not everyone's cut out for bigger and better things. Sometimes the smallest roles in the good fight are the most important. But enough of that. If it's your dad you seek, then I will abide. If you know anything, can you help me with help me find my dad? Please just tell me. You wanna find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours. He was here with Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. If you want to know more, you're going to have to con Go Galaxy News Radio is... You see something? Okay, yeah. Uh... 
Okay, I was just asked to go put up a radio beacon. Um, oh. Well, well, I think we're gonna end the video here. Um, hope you like it, and it's been Serpentine. See you next time.